My name is Ryan, I go by Farmhouse, and this is how we're going to do Massive. For the most part, every time I go onto YouTube to check out Massive tutorials and see new people's sounds, I've seen the same thing every time, and that is somebody talks for a little while, they'll eventually play a sound, you're not really sure when, and you're pretty much just going to be following them along as they tell you what direction to point which knob. And to me, that's been frustrating because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the patch or not, or if I'm going to have to watch this video for 5 to 10 minutes just to get the sound. What I want to do with this channel is give you guys a concise way and a set of expectations that every time you see the video, it's going to be the same exact thing, and hopefully, it's not going to suck. So, here's what you can expect. First, there's going to be the actual sound, about 12 seconds by itself. Then I'm going to show you the screenshots of all the valuable information that you need. So all the envelopes, all the oscillators, everything in a screenshot. So if you want to copy it, all you have to do is pause it at each one of those screens and you'll be good to go. You have all the information you need. I think it's very important to learn the process by actually doing some of the recreating and hopefully it won't take too long. While that's going on, there's going to be a demo that I made about a minute long so you can hear the sound in context. After all that's done, the rest of the video is going to be three sound design concepts that I applied during that patch that hopefully you can take away rather than just recreating what I'm doing on the screen. I focus heavily on macros as a different way to give you alternate versions of the sound, so that's a lot of what I focus on during that section. You'll always be able to download the sound in the description, so if you do want to just go in and out, download the sound, bail, you have that choice but hopefully I'm going to make the second half of the video interesting enough that it'll be worth checking out. If there's ever any questions or requests, let me know and I'll knock them out. So, here we go.